be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm pretty much going to be covering how to make a drill beat in Logic Pro 10. This is a 2024 edition, so let's go ahead and jump in. Now, the beat's pretty much already done, at least the loop is, and so I'm going to pretty much be letting y'all hear that and then break down what I did to make it. So let's go ahead and check it out. Cool. So pretty much this is the beat. What I'm gonna do is just break down like each part. First thing I did is came over here and you know created this piano part. Um, basically started off with a brand new star for instrument track under instrument. We went to default patch and um, pulled up in our library, and then we went to piano and then grand piano. Okay. After I did that, I came to this channel and I made I took out some of the lows to kind of give it more of a telephone effect. And I just played two chords, y'all. It's like a, I think it's like E flat and a B. So let's check that out. And that's pretty much the, the basis of that. Um, after I did that, I pretty much just doubled it by pushing Command D, all right? And then I just held down Option and dragging you know, drop this right here and then change the sound from a piano to a pad sound. Um, so I have this sound right here and it's pretty much just following the same thing that the piano did. All right, now I also have this second piano part, which is like basically a octave higher here. So again, double that up. And if I push Command D, brought this down, and then I push Shift Option in the up arrow that pushes it up or down an octave if you go down. So I did that, and now we have this higher pitch one. All right, cool. So that's almost everything for the melody. The last thing I did for the melody is added this vocal, and it's pretty much just kind of like a little uh, vocal run. And uh, what I did is I, I found that in Apple Loops, went to over here to the sound packs, Vox Melodics, and I found it within here. I just typed in Vox. I added a Valhalla Room onto it, turned the mix maybe down to halfway almost, turned the pre delay down, turned the decay up, the high cut up, and the depth up, and this is pretty much what we have now. Now for the drums, I started off with a clap, and pretty much the clap um, pattern is gonna pretty much hit, the first clap is gonna hit where it needs to be, and then the second clap is gonna hit right, like right after where it should be. So let's kind of listen to that. Just double that up, added a snare. And then from here, I added like the infamous drill hi-hat pattern, which is this. And just to kind of make it easier, I literally just played it with a MIDI keyboard. Add a little extra to the percussion. I added in the open hi hat. And then I added a kick, just kind of put it in there spor uh, sporadically.
And then last is the 808, pretty much um, started off with a quick sampler track, MIDI software instrument, went over here to quick sampler. And then I just dragged and dropped a, a 808 in here. You can save it by going to default preset and go save as. But the main thing you want to make sure is go to pitch and then glide and push that up some. Okay, and that's pretty much what I did. And that's going to create that uh, infamous drill glide 808 sound when you're, you know, doing your pattern. Kind of see here, put it up to like 119. But then uh, pretty much we did a basic drum uh, 808 pattern. And that's pretty much the video, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Make sure you leave a comment if you like the video. If you want to leave any tips or whatever or anything that you've liked about the video, just go ahead and put that in the comment section. And make sure you go over to my website, beatmakingbasis.com. There you can purchase uh, full video courses that have full curriculum. Um, usually these courses come with at least an hour to five hours of uh, content, exclusive content on each course. So make sure you check that out. Also, we got this beat making masters bundle. It comes with all the courses plus all of the sound kits that we offer and the mixing templates. So that's really the best way for you to grow, learn and accelerate your uh, beat making skills fast in Logic Pro 10. So make sure you check those out and uh, appreciate y'all watching. I will see you in the next video. We're out.